Is this a brand or is this really you? I mean, it's me. I'm Hollywood's new princess. And you should feel very honored because you're interviewing me for the first time. What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to Grimm. It's time for another insufferable person to be featured on Dr. Phil's show today. This girl is taking every play in the book to try and make herself a viral sensation. So without further ado, let's beat her and begin the cringe fest, shall we? You're the queen of Rodeo Drive. Yes. Um, well, I am wearing a tiara. I don't know if you guys can see that. So that kind of makes me like a princess. Man, she's already knocking this out of the park. I mean, I've now heard her talk for what? About five seconds? And I already dislike everything about her. I'm gonna first start this off by just acknowledging that yes, of course, this girl is just fishing around to become the next viral Dr. Phil kid since she is going out of her way to sound just super dumb throughout this whole thing and make people offended or annoyed. And that's kind of the goal of people that come on this show with that angle. And I know that's the case, but I mean, you know, this channel can't pass up on stuff like this, all right? That is prime content I'm missing out on if I don't cover this girl. With that being said, though, please nobody gas this girl up. The last viral rich brat that came from Dr. Phil's show is now licking airplane toilet seats for clout. So, I mean, it's clearly not the best career choice. Um, but I am a queen of Rodeo. I shop, I rule the sidewalks over there. Constantly there. So for those who don't know what Rodeo Drive is, it's basically the shopping mecca of LA where you have all these rich brands that are on the same street, you know, Versace, Balenciaga, all this stuff is there. And it's the one with the Bugatti that spawns in front of it in GTA 5, basically, if you've ever played that. Uh, this girl is claiming that she rules the sidewalks there, and there's literal multi-millionaires there every day, though, chatting with their friends, you know, about their new ultra-rare cars that they probably just bought. You are chump change when it comes to Rodeo Drive, girl, I'm sorry. Plus, she's acting like she is just this royalty because she's wearing a random tiara and for some reason after that we should all treat her like a queen so i mean talk about insufferable plus unless you're cosplaying or something why are you walking around with a tiara that is so cringe because i'm there a lot and i've never seen you well i'm probably shopping inside yeah, maybe you're in the, I'm in the, stores. the stores yeah i'm I in just, the stores i just happen to go through there a lot flex on him dr phil you know he's calling her out right now i bet this dude is actually on rodeo spending tens of thousands every week if he wants to he clearly has the money for it and uh even though apparently she has a budget of fifteen thousand dollars for shopping each week he somehow has never seen her there you know that is kind of hilarious that he just called her out like that so quickly she's acting like she has this huge reputation around rodeo i mean the way she talks about herself i have expect her to be rolling through on a horse and carriage or something or just walk around on a platform that six different people are holding up you said every, all of your friends everybody you know is threatened by you mm -hmm. um why are they threatened by you i just feel like they see my success and they see my goals and my dreams okay hold up <laughs> what success are we talking about here please enlighten me because they showed her Instagram earlier she has just over a thousand followers apparently and her YouTube has one video uploaded and all the money she spends is from her trust fund that's currently sitting at over one million dollars that her parents set up of course literally they made it to where she can apparently spend fifteen thousand dollars a week on shopping so I really am just baffled at what success she's claiming to have and apparently this success is so overwhelming to her friends and family that it makes them all threatened by her I think it's probably just her personality that they don't like and then she thinks that's the reason. You say you're really successful and I'm trying to figure out what at yet. Because I'm wondering if they're jealous of you or if you're just rude. You cut somebody's shirt up, their blouse but up. But within reason. Apparently, too, this girl just cuts up her friend's clothing when they get in fights. So maybe that's why they're threatened by her, because she's absolutely freaking psycho and not even low-key about it. I mean, how can you seriously say, I cut up this person's clothes within reason, okay? They were making me mad. Like, once again, I have to remind myself, though, that this girl is probably, honestly, overdoing this persona quite a bit just so she can get the clout on this show, and I can't let myself get triggered by this, because that means she wins. You have a million-dollar trust fund, and so you get $200,000 a month. Right. Um, All right, correct me if I'm wrong, but if her trust fund is at a million dollars and she gets 200,000 of that every month, that equals about five months, AKA less than half a year. Took me a long time to crunch those numbers, trust me, but I think I'm accurate on that. So tell me how she can possibly survive off of this trust fund for so long if she's really spending that much every single month. I think she might be lying to us guys, which is crazy. I know nobody ever does that on this show, but I really do think she's fibbing. Dude, 
dude, even Dr. Phil is surprised by her stupidity right now. Like, he can't even get his question out right now. He's legit speechless, and I mean, that rarely happens, so this girl should be really proud of her accomplishment. That is a new level of stupid. According to her, they keep refilling it, but I mean, how rich can this girl's parents really be? If they were as rich as she is making them sound, you know, I'd think they'd probably forbid her from going on this show since it would damage their image. I don't know, that just seems like something a super rich family would want locked down, obviously, and they wouldn't want their daughter going on here embarrassing herself. And this girl just got exposed for lying too about how rich she was. It's hilarious to me that she couldn't have done the math on that herself before lying about it. And that's the reason that she got exposed is because it just doesn't make sense at all. Kind of like Mariah or care about her because you're wanting her to save her from herself. Yeah, of course I do. We both have the same interest in fashion, both want to be part of the industry. All right, guys, I don't claim to know much about women's fashion, but you know, I am a bit of a fashion nerd myself and I know some things. I gotta say, I don't get how they both are trying to break into the fashion industry while they're dressing the way they do. Maybe if this was like 2009, that would be accurate, but they both look like they could be background extras in the Mean Girls movie or something like that, bro. Like, I swear they gotta update their looks, please. She can get threatened by people if they feel like they're in competition with her and she begins to start pushing people away. Ah, uh, so see, in her friend's own words, it's almost like she is the one that gets threatened by anyone that might seem cooler or richer or, I don't know, prettier than her, any of her many insecurities that she has. And she starts to project those insecurities on everyone and everything else just to distract from that. That would explain why she thinks she's making everyone else feel threatened, when in reality, she is the one that is very insecure and just low-key doesn't want anyone to know. Do you consider her a friend? I do consider her a friend. She's one of the people that I trust the most. Um, we disagree at times because I feel like she understands me, but then she kind of puts me in my place, but I feel like we get along pretty well. That was the longest possible answer to that question, and I still don't know if this girl likes her friend truly or not. The personality type of hers and the way she talks just has this magical power to make everything feel so disingenuous. I would not trust a single thing she says, like not to reference Mean Girls again, but she really does start to seem like a character from that movie more and more the longer we hear her talk. I'm really busy trying to manage my business stuff and my fashion line, and it's not my fault that you're not rich enough to be able to come visit me. Ew, and uh, there we have the genuine trashiness coming out to play. You know that people that truly work for their money and have riches beyond our imagination don't have to talk to people like that. They aren't filled with this massive insecurity that she has because she knows deep down that without the luck of her being born to these super rich parents, she wouldn't have anything. And that's what this is all coming down to. Pretty gross to throw a friend under the bus like this though and call her out for, I don't know what, be like being poor, I guess. <laughs> I actually bet this girl's in on it too and she's willing to get called out like that just to add more drama and make the chances of them going viral just that much higher, you know? So guys, real quick, I have a super fast challenge that only takes five seconds to complete. So if you can leave a like and subscribe within the next five seconds, you'll get 10 years of amazing luck. Just give it a try, it really works. $2.4 million a year from your trust fund, right? From your million dollar trust fund? I love that Dr. Phil is not letting go of this numbers thing. It's still not adding up for me either, dude. And I think she is really getting insecure right now. Like this forced smile and angry shaking she's doing is not fooling anyone. I bet she's just fuming inside right now, thinking of how dumb he's making her look. Or she's smiling out of satisfaction, seeing how well this train wreck is going that she's most likely doing on purpose. We gotta keep reminding ourselves she's trying to orchestrate this whole thing for clout. Just remember that. I'd like not to speak on that since you're making fun of me. No, but... I'm just asking, is that right? Wow, and then she suddenly has the audacity to be sassy and act like she's the victim right now. He's just calling you out on your BS, all right? Have you ever watched this show before? Like, did you not know that's kind of what Dr. Phil is known for? He's simply asking how this adds up too, or just explain yourself a bit more right now. But instead, she's getting defensive and moody since he's making her look like a fool on stage. I have a personal driver. I have a glam squad that comes and does my hair and makeup. Um, I have shopping needs, I have eyelash needs. She doesn't name one thing that would actually add up anywhere close to spending 2.4 million in the grand scheme of things, which is apparently how much she makes a year from her trust fund. And I mean, you'd think someone with that much income from her parents, they would have someone in charge of those funds so she could make like smart investments and grow her wealth. Instead, apparently she's somehow spending it all on having a glam squad and getting her eyebrows done. It's me, I'm Hollywood's new princess. And you should feel very honored, because you're interviewing me for the first time. 
Yeah, this whole thing has been BS, and I am glad that I haven't wavered on that so far. The way she just answered this question right here is just so devoid of self-awareness that I truly don't think anyone could be vapid or dumb enough to say it in all honesty. So she is definitely playing the part here, and you know, hamming it up in order to become the next viral Dr. Phil kid. It, it was a good attempt, but I saw right through it. Anyways, thanks for the content. I hope you enjoy your couple million views on the Dr. Phil upload. Maybe it'll help grow your Instagram a bit, but in my opinion, you just made yourself look like a total moron for not much of a payoff. Seriously, I never got the idea behind this career move either. Like, I know Danielle Brigoli got a music deal out of it, but once that was done once, that's never gonna happen again, alright? Like, do you just want to be famous for being hated and unlikable? I still think this was an entertaining episode, even though it was clearly fake from her angle. But anyways, let me know what you guys thought of this story. That's what I want to hear right now in the comments below. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, peace out.